Well, I've enjoyed tonight's debate, and I think there was a lot of commonality here, and I'm, I'm sympathetic to misspeaking on things, and I think I might have with, uh, with the senator. Me, but me there's, too, man. There's one. there's one, though, that this, this one is troubling to me, and I say that because I, I think we need to tell the story. Donald Trump refused to acknowledge this, and the fact is, is that I don't think we can be the frog in the pot and let the boiling water go up. He was very clear. I mean, he lost this election, and he said he didn't. 140 police officers were beaten at the Capitol that day, some with the American flag, several later died. And it wasn't just in there. In Minnesota, a group gathered on the state Capitol grounds in St. Paul and said, we're marching to the governor's residence and there may be casualties. The only person there was my son and his dog who was rushed out crying by state police. That issue and Mike Pence standing there as they were chanting, hang Mike Pence, Mike Pence made the right decision. So, Senator, it was adjudicated over and over and over. I worked with kids long enough to know, and I said as a football coach, sometimes you really want to win, but the democracy is bigger than winning an election. You shake hands, and then you try and do everything you can to help the other side win. That's, that's what was at stake here. Now, the thing I'm most concerned about is the idea that imprisoning your, your political opponents, already laying the groundwork for people not accepting this. And a president's words matter. A president's words matter. People hear that. So I think this issue of settling our differences at the ballot box, shaking hands when we lose, being honest about it, but to deny what happened on January 6th, the first time in American history that a president or anyone tried to overturn a fair election and the peaceful transfer of power. And here we are four years later in the same boat. I will tell you this, that when this is over, we need to shake hands this election and the winner needs to be the winner. This has got to stop. It's tearing our country apart. Margaret. Senator Vance, did you want